So the heart is enlarged because of several reasons. One of the most common reasons is long-standing hypertension. So, syempre, ang, ang heart po natin, it's also a muscle, okay? So, like any other muscle, if they are overused, um, overworked, lumalaki po yung mga yan, nagkakaroon ng hypertrophy. So, the problem is, pag nagkakaroon siya ng, lumalaki ang puso, hindi na masyado nakaka-function. So, they don't uh, function as good uh, as before. And again, it's because of long-standing hypertension that can be, that can be one, Okay? So, what you can do, um, you can use Pixidas Magnesium, which is found in green leafy vegetables. So, if you f eat foods that are rich in magnesium, magnesium is very important for the uh, conduction of the heart. So, maganda po yan sa inyo, and it's also good for hypertension. It decreases the blood pressure in your body, which is one of the main reasons why you can have uh, enlarged heart. So, also... Uh, you can drink garlic, again, what I said, garlic, ginger, lemongrass mm. tea, which lemongrass tea is a diuretic, so it will remove congestion in your body. Anong herbal medicine sa enlarged heart? Okay. If it's enlarged heart, again, it's garlic, ginger, lemongrass, vitamin C, mega dose, and vitamin E as well. Okay, it will help you. Cardiomyopathy. So this is a heart condition. You can have uh, hypertensive cardiomyopathy. You can also have dilated cardiomyopathy. Just in case these are very dangerous, I know, because some people, they would just drop dead. So for example, tiba, how many times have you seen like someone who is uh, doing who is doing sports and then out of nowhere, they just drop dead. They were just alive. They were kicking. Mm -hmm. And then out of nowhere, bigla na lang silang namamatay. Most of them, they have actually congenital cardiomyopathy. Mm -hmm. So for this condition, I have treated patients like this. Megadose vitamin C and Boston C can really help. Okay, pa. And of course, pixie dust. That's the best. And then you have to change your diet. Always naman yan. Hello? So, uh, about, uh, there's someone who's asking about rheumatic fever. Mm -hmm. Okay, for that's, that's actually a complication. Um, usually, if you had recurrent sore throat, okay, so, um, nagkakaroon po ng uh, interactions with the, if you, it's always recurrent, nagkakaroon ka na interaction dun sa puso. So, pumupunta yung, um, nagkakaroon ka ng uh, uh, reaction sa heart mo. So, uh, if you have a rheumatic fever, so you will have palpitations. And in the end, pwede ka rin magkaroon ng heart disease. Kaya tinatawag nila, rheumatic heart disease, RHD. So, usually, ang inaapektuhan po niyan, yung mga val valves natin sa puso. So, pagka naapektuhan yung valves sa puso, either they don't shut down completely, kasi kailangan mag-shut down yan eh or nagkakaroon ng flow ng blood going back. Dapat kasi pagka ang po, yung, yung, yung flow ng blood has to go up, has to shut down, tapos yung valves natin, tapos babagsak yung, uh, magpo-flow yung blood natin. So, nag, nangyayari, nagkakaroon ka ng valvular disease, yung blood, nagkakaroon ng tinatawag na pooling of the blood. So, hindi lumalabas lahat, hindi na empty lahat. So, they can, uh, they can be stuck in the heart or pwedeng pumunta sa lang so pwede kang mahirapan huminga yan ang yan ang magiging problem mo okay for rheumatic heart disease the best thing that you can do is to take honey and cinnamon and ginger kasi merong mga anti uh, inflammatory properties sa mga yan uh, garlic has an antibacterial properties if you're uh, if you're still infected uh, with the bacteria so you can have uh, garlic. You can always take garlic. As many, as many naman yan eh. So like what I tell uh, most people, if you are inflicted with a certain type of condition and you're taking herbs uh, for medicinal purposes, you have to take them five to seven times higher than the normal. Okay, as many as you can. Yan ang pinaka importante. And of course. Um, there's a possibility of congestion. So, pwede ka po kayo magkaroon ng, hindi, hindi masyadong nare-release, hindi masyadong na-eject yung, yung fluid in the body. So, you need uh, some form of diuretic. And you can take lemongrass tea. Yan. Lemongrass tea, they have diuretic effect. Uh, tsaka ang gubat, yan. Meron din po rin na 
na properties uh, for you to pee. Yeah, as many as you can. Uh, also, pansit-pansitan. Um, uh, what else has a uh, uh, diuretic effect? Asparagus, it has a diuretic effect It's as well. Bee. Yes. So, yan po yung pwede nyong gawin. Okay? If you are suffering from rheumatic heart disease. Okay. You can take siling labuyo. It can, even if you're having a heart attack, that will save your life. You're right. She doesn't look 40. Yeah. <laughs> she looks much younger. If you're having a heart attack, siling labuyo will save your life. I'm telling this to you, okay? You get one teaspoon of it. You you, pull, you powder it. One teaspoon, put it in water. If some, someone is having a heart attack, you let them drink.